Happy Feature Friday, all of my quilting friends. Thank you for joining us today. It's so great to have you here. Today, I wanna go over a feature that you may not know you have available to you. We are gonna be looking at the margins feature. It's not in your normal editing feature area. It's in a different place. So I'm gonna show you where that is and we're gonna look at how that works. Your margins is a feature that can put space around a pattern design, and this is helpful when you're doing pattern layout boxes and filling in block designs. So if you're doing a lot of custom work, this might be something that could be helpful to you to really place those designs exactly the way you want them, make sure they stay within a block area, and you really get the look that you want for the quilt you're working on. So let's go ahead and turn around and look at our robotics. So I've got a block layout here. This is about a five inch block and we are going to add a pattern to this. So I'm gonna come into my patterns and I've got a pattern all picked out here. So I'm gonna hit my check mark. And obviously this is way too big for my little tiny square here. So we are going to go into our repeat function and I'm gonna use autofill. And when I hit autofill, that is gonna take my design and make it perfectly fit here in my little block that I've got. Now, as you can see, this design goes right to the edges of my block layout, but maybe I want a margin of space around that design so that it doesn't go right to the edges. I might want a little buffer between the edges of my layout block and my design. Maybe there's gonna be a lot of shrinkage in my quilt and I wanna make sure that design stays in my block layout area. Maybe I just want a very clean line of space around my design so that I can see the whole design when I'm looking at the quilt and none of my stitching will go into my seam allowance. So I'm gonna show you how to add that. We are going to start by coming over to the left-hand side of our display and we are going into our settings feature and that is the feature that has the little gears on it. So when we touch that, we come into a new screen that's got uh, different tabs across the top and we wanna be in our parameters tab. So you'll need to touch on that and highlight it in the word terms orange. When you're in your parameters tab, we've got margin right here, kind of towards the middle of the display. And there's a white box that coordinates with it. And it usually says zero in it because our design is going to the edge of our pattern layout boxes. But we can change that to add a margin around it. If you touch on the white box, you get a keypad where you can put in the number of uh, inches of space you would like around your design. Now, because this is in inches, we tend to use the decimal point a lot um, because we're breaking that inches down. So if I want a half an inch around my design, I can put in 0.5 and hit my green check mark. And now my margin is reading 0.5. I'm gonna go back to edit. And here is my block as it was with no margin. I'm gonna come back to my repeat function and hit that and I'm gonna press autofill again and it is now going to autofill my design with that half an inch margin around it. And now you can see my design is much smaller but I have a half an inch all the way around my design so that my design doesn't touch any of my layout edges. So that looks really nice, but maybe that's too much space for me and I wanna lessen that a little bit. Maybe I want a quarter of an inch. So we'll come back over to our settings. We are still in parameters. Here is our margins. I can open up my keypad again and maybe I'll put in 0.25 this time for just a quarter of an inch and hit my check mark. Now my margin is reading 0.25. I'm gonna go back over to edit. Here is my block layout with the half inch margin in it. I'm gonna come back over to my repeat function and hit autofill again. And now it's refilled my block with my design with just a quarter of an inch margin around it. And I think I like that a little bit better. 
So this is something that you can play with and put in whatever you'd like to give yourself that buffer of space between your design and your layout edges of your pattern layout box. That way you can make sure your design is fully inside the box and you have a nice even spacing all the way around. I did stitch these out so we can look at those now. I drew a line around my fabric square so you can see that this is the line that I used for my pattern layout box and I've got a quarter of an inch between my design and my uh, drawn seam allowance here all the way around so this is the quarter of an inch and this one over here is the half an inch one so you can see when I compare them side by side this design is much smaller because I've got the half an inch uh, margin where this one's a lot larger because I have a quarter of an inch. I hope this information was helpful to you and can really uh, allow you to do some extra custom work as you're working on your quilt tops that you're uh, using block layouts with and you want to try a few things that are a little bit different and really give you that creative and customized look. Thank you guys.